oh wow et voila look at the packaging kind of looks like one of those shades that would yeah hello welcome back or if this is your first time seeing my face welcome to my channel so i placed an order off of revolution's website a couple weeks ago and it has arrived yesterday evening and i'm going to be testing some new in stuff from revolution pro i have actually had quite a lot of you guys messaging me saying please can you test the new revolution pro stuff because it looks really nice and i agree with you it looks really nice this is probably my favorite launch that revolution have done in a while in terms of like just their standard products rather than collaborations with people i've also got jake jamie's new mint choc chip face mask in here there's a bit of a backstory behind this basically um jake if you don't know jake oh my god he is the sweetest he does loads of diy skincare recipes and he's also got loads of masks with revolution skincare but he dropped me a message the other week and said that his mint choc chip face mask was launching however due to everything that's going on on at the moment um they weren't doing pr packages which is completely understandable but instead of doing pr packages they actually sent over a discount code for the website so i picked up his mask and i also got some of the Revolution Pro bits, so that's what I'm gonna test today. I also really wanna try this, so we're gonna do that too. So thank you, Jake, and congrats. I can't wait to put this on my face. Oh, and I'm gonna be doing a full day wear test of the products that I'm about to test, so let's just get into it. If you want more drugstore makeup videos, make sure you give this a thumbs up. I'm gonna put my hair back with my favorite Disney ears that have got a hair stuck to them, because why not? I found them when I was sorting out, and they're really fun. These are actually from Claire's. So, Jake's Mask, Mint Choc Chip, actually, a delicious ice cream flavour. I highly rate it. I know that it's a bit controversial. Not everybody likes a bit of mint choc chip, but I do. Oh my god. Is this edible? Because that smells exactly like mint choc chip. Sometimes with masks and products and things, it will say mint choc chip, but then it will smell like mint choc chip with a dose of chemicals. But this actually smells exactly like mint choc chip ice cream. Well, it does say on the box, this product may smell good enough to eat, but please don't. <laughs> so I will not eat it as tempted as I am to just... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Formulated with zingy peppermint leaf to soothe and refresh. Apply one to two times a week, avoid eye area, allow to work for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse well. So that is what I'm gonna do. Oh my God. Oh my god, it smells so good. Whatever you do, keep this mask away from your kids. <laughs> Not even just kids, just anyone that you think is at risk of eating this because I promise you it smells that good. It does have that minty, cool kind of feeling. Right, well I'm gonna leave this for 10 to 15 minutes, then I'll wash it off and see how it leaves my skin feeling. It has been 10 minutes, actually it's probably been just over 10 minutes. I'm gonna go take this off and then I'll be right back. It hasn't like dried or anything, but I don't think it's supposed to. My skin feels so nice now, it feels really hydrated. I don't usually go for those kind of creamy, moisturizing type masks, but my skin feels really nice. It feels really soft. Right, so moving on to the makeup. I have got the CC Cream Perfecting Foundation SPF 30 extremely excited about this. I, I've, I've been loving a bit of CC cream, BB cream, that kind of thing, because my skin at the moment is behaving itself. I've got the CC Perfecting Pressed Powder. I've got the Sculpting Bronzer, which I'm very excited for, and I've got one of their gorgeous eyeshadow palettes with the really pretty packaging. These are the Ultimate Eye Look palettes, and oh my god, look at this palette, and for my primer, I'm taking the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer with vitamins B, C, and E. This is really nice. And it smells like oranges. It smells so yummy. I just want something quite, like, light, but also moisturising. So they had quite a few shades of the CC foundation. I went for C5. Is it C5 or is it F5? F5. This says that it's moisturising, rich foundation, contains hyaluronic acid, collagen, and antioxidants. So I went for C5 because the colours, they didn't have, like, the full range of their usual colours for stuff. And to be honest, I don't even know what colour I am in the foundation anymore. I used 5.5 in the concealer, but it's a little bit lighter. Like, 5.5 is slightly lighter than 5, so I thought I'd go for 5 in the CC cream. Because the swatches were a little bit confusing. It was still like quite hard to pick my shade so it's a squeezy tube but it's also got a pump which is quite cool okay let's try one pump that actually is quite a lot of product it is very thick and it does smell kind of like sun cream i think i'm gonna use my brush because that's what i usually use for a cc cream oh wow that's really good coverage i was kind of expecting it to be really light coverage but that is actually really good coverage was not expecting that. I think the colour is a bit 
pink. I'm not too sure what shade I'd be then because 5.5 is more yellow, but it's quite a bit lighter. I did watch a girl on YouTube who purchased 5.5 and it was quite light. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's just definitely a bit more pink. Okay, well, initial like impressions. It is quite thick and it is pretty full coverage. It's got really nice coverage. My skin looks really nice, but you can definitely see it on my skin. It's not like a, um, I thought it would be more of a tinted moisturizer type thing. I'm not too sure why. The finish is super glowy and radiant as you can see. I would definitely need to set this with some powder, but it's a good job I've got the powder as well. It looks gorgeous though. Let me just give you a close up. So as you can probably see, like you can definitely see it on my skin. It is quite thick, but it does, look pretty nice like my skin is very dewy but it still looks very healthy and smooth i'm just gonna add a little bit of the conceal and define why did i say it like that conceal conceal and define infinite concealer in 5.5 So then for my powder, I've got the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Pressed Powder. Um, this says it contains hyaluronic acid and antioxidant antioxidants. It says on the front, no flashback. So that is a, a pretty big claim. I will be testing it. I got the shade Beige. Uh, this was nine pounds. The CC cream was 10 pounds. Packaging is really pretty. It's this faux leather um, croc snakeskin sort of effect. The thing is with this powder, they have quite a few shades again. I think they've got, yes, yeah, so there's available in 13 shades. I went for beige, which beige, which is the third shade down. The first one was ivory, which literally looked white. Again, the pictures on the website were kind of difficult to look at because the lighting is so bright. I'm now thinking that I probably should have gone with warm beige because again, this looks pretty light. I'm gonna put this under my eyes first. I love the print on it, it looks so cool. Yeah, that's definitely got some colour to it and has definitely brightened up my under eyes, but for all over my face, I think this is going to be a little bit light. It looks really nice though. Doesn't look cakey, just makes my under eyes look really smooth. Then I'm going to go in with a big powder brush and just set my whole face. This is definitely adding a bit of coverage. I love face powders that have a bit of coverage and that looks really nice. I really like the look of it, but it is definitely a little bit too light. I wish I'd gone for warm beige or maybe even the shade down from that. I don't know, but it looks nice. I like it so far. So here is a little close up. As you can see under my eyes, it just looks really smooth. So I've got the Sculpting Bronzer with Moisturising Cocoa Extract. I went for the shade Bar here, which I think is the lightest shade. Again, it's got the same sort of croc effect on the front. The packaging is so nice for this collection. I was really hoping it would smell of chocolate. It does not. It doesn't smell of anything. But again, look how nice that bronzer looks. It's got such a cool texture on it. This is quite dark for the lightest shade. Oh my gosh, I think I can see a slight hint of shimmer in this. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited. We all know how I feel about a slightly glowy bronzer. Let's see what this does for my face. Okay, it's not too pigmented which is good. I love a buildable bronzer. It's got quite a ready orange undertone, but wow, that is blending beautifully. I love this. Again, it looks so smooth on my skin. I think I've just discovered a drugstore bronzer that I would actually put into my daily makeup routine. Doesn't beat my Kiko one, but this is really nice. I like this a lot. Oh my God, in my previous video, I added nose contour and then forgot to blend it out. So I just like added the lines and then didn't notice that I hadn't blended it properly and it was just a mess. Because what I normally do is I do my nose contour like this, then I go in with my powder and just dust over the top of it to blend it out a bit so it doesn't look as harsh. Et voila. I'm just gonna do my blush, highlighter, brows, and then I'll be back for the eyeshadow palette. So moving on to the eyeshadow palette. There's a few different ones of these. I think they were 10 pounds each, and oh my God, I went for the neutral one, obviously. This is the ultimate eye look palette, or maybe it's called Diamonds and Pearls. Look at the packaging. I went for this one because this is something I would actually use. A small compact palette, gorgeous packaging, but still travel friendly, nice big mirror. And I'm gonna use all four of these shades. Uh, I gave them a bit of a swatch when this arrived yesterday. This gold shade looks unreal. So I'm starting with this shade, which is like the transition shade. It's almost, almost like a dusky pink kind of color. And I'm just putting this all throughout my crease, gently blending it up towards my eyebrow, winging it out slightly. I mean, so far so good. And then taking the dark brown, which is another matte shade. Wow, okay, that's also super pigmented. And I'm gonna put this on the outer corners of my eyes. And again, I'm still gonna keep that sort of winged shape. 
when you blend it out it's not as dark as it looks in the pan but that is blending really nicely. Then I'm taking the gold shade. I'm gonna try it on a brush. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna use my finger because it kind of looks like one of those shades that would, yeah. Because it's kind of like a baked formula, I just think this will go on so much better with my finger because that's not really doing anything. On oh, my finger. It is really pretty. However, it is quite dry and a lot of that glitter just fell onto my face. I think it would probably stick better if you used some kind of sticky primer or glitter glue underneath it. I'm gonna add another layer. Oh my God, that shade is beautiful though. Ah, I've got glitter all over my face. But honestly, that shade is so pretty that I'm not, I can't even be mad at it. I'm gonna go get a setting spray just in case. I'm gonna take some of Jake Jamie's Fruity AF Revitalizing Essence Spray. And I'm just gonna take some of this on my brush. And I'm hoping that will make it stick better throughout the day. I'm gonna add some of that dark brown just to my lower lash line. And actually a little bit of the pink. And then I'm taking this shade here on my inner corners. This one isn't as glittery as the other one, but it's still got that gorgeous foiled sort of texture. Whoa! I'm actually just gonna add a tiny bit more dark brown to my outer corners. So as you can see, that color is super, super pretty. But I do have quite a bit of fallout on my face now. But wow, look at that. You know what? I'm actually just gonna go in with the dark brown shade and use it as a eyeshadow liner. Okay, it's kind of just blending in. <laughs> you know what, that's okay. You can kind of see it. Because obviously it's the same shade as the eyeshadow. It's not gonna show up super well. So I'm just gonna do my mascara and lips and then I will be back. For my mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Unlimited and for my lips, I'm using the NYX. Retractable Lip Liner in Nude and the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Sweet Mouth. So this is the finished look. I will take the Disney ears off in a second. So far, I'm actually really impressed. I also did forget to tell you when I was applying this foundation, it was just after 12 noon. It is actually currently now 1.46 because clearly I take way too long to film simple makeup looks. To be fair, I have been sitting here like trying to get TikTok videos and also trying to get an Instagram version of this video. But so far, I am super impressed with everything actually. So this is what everything looks like up close. So I am gonna go about my day and I will check back in with you guys when I have some interesting updates. My predictions are that this isn't gonna hold up that great on oily skin because obviously it is a CC cream and it was super glowy. Catch you in a bit. I'm just in my bathroom. I'm filming this clip on my phone, but it's now five o'clock. It's 5.01 in the evening. So this has been on for around five hours now. It's definitely getting a little bit more oily, um, but it's not at the point yet where I'd be like, oh, I need to powder that. It doesn't look too bad. It just looks a lot more glowy than it did earlier, but it still looks pretty nice. Um, it is starting to sink in to my smile lines just a little bit, um, but I usually get that with most things. But so far it still looks nice, the eyeshadow is still on there. I have noticed there's been a tiny bit more fallout of the eyeshadow just underneath my eyes throughout the day. I think it would just definitely help if you put down some kind of sticky primer beforehand. So yeah, this is me after five hours, I will check back in after, I don't know, maybe 10 hours. I did also remember to take a flashback test after five hours. So this is the picture. There doesn't seem to be any flashback, which is good, but I do definitely think it would help if I got the slightly darker shade of powder. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Um, hi. So this is a little bit of a problem. I'm looking very, very oily, which like I said, I was expecting. Um, it's actually 8.07 in the evening. I did do a um, one of the P with Joe videos. So I did like a half an hour workout, although I didn't really get too sweaty to be honest. My face doesn't really sweat anyway, which is kind of weird, um, but it definitely does get oily as you can see. So after about like five hours, six hours, when I was looking in the mirror, that is the time where in my everyday kind of normal life, if I was wearing this, I would have just powdered my face. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is powder my face now. I'm going back in with the CC powder and I'm just using this to mattify everything again. The bronzer has definitely faded a little bit, I think. Um, well, I have just powdered over it, which definitely doesn't help. I just wanted to add a little bit more because I'm gonna do a flashback test and I thought it wasn't really fair to do that when I was just a blank white canvas. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, it is really not looking good around my nose. Can you see around my nose? It just looks very that being said though, I do still like it um, as a CC cream because 
With every single BB or CC cream that I've tried, like they're not intended to be matte. They're intended to be a glowy, skin-like sort of thing. So I would still definitely wear it again. I would just make sure that I powdered before I got to the stage where I was too oily. I was gonna do a check-in after 10 hours, but to be honest, I don't really think, like there wouldn't really be much difference. You can see that it got oily after five to eight hours, so. This bronzer though is going straight into my daily makeup routine. Right, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm really sorry, I'm not gonna do a question of the day today just because I need to wrap this up because I've got a virtual date with James. <laughs> We're about to go and watch a film and I've already kept him waiting long enough, so I'm really sorry, I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.